Fred, to Fred Union one here on this Sunday afternoon. And immediately a turnover. And it'll be an IU basketball. Franklin chases the uh, tip off the inbounds there. He hits the uh, out of bounds line. Huskies ball. Jonathan, we're going to see for uh, Coach Yaklich's crew, we're going to see defensive intensity to start. Really played a tough game against Paul on Tuesday night. See if they can bounce back here at home. As a jumper, that goes for not for Williams, and here come the Flames. Flames coming off a loss against DePaul here at Credit Union 1. Here's Zion Griffin turns the corner. Inside, Skoball for the lay-in. So Skoball gets things started for the Flames, and it's 2-0. Yeah, Griffin draws the defense with him, finds Skoball underneath, drew two defenders towards him. Nice pass. Odd quirk in the schedule for the NIU Huskies. They've only played one home game so far this season. And the basketball now with Williams. Ten on the shot clock for NIU. Williams tries to penetrate. Tries to get inside. Misses it. And we have a whistle. That will be a foul call on the Huskies. That's going to be a McCoy. A loose ball foul. Let's take a look. Here's the last offensive possession for the Flames. See Griffin finding skill ball underneath. Like we were talking about, drawing the defense towards him, towards the lane, and then finding the open man underneath the basket. Flames just looking for some consistency here as they play their last non conference schedule of the regular season as KJ has a skill ball for three. In and out, no good. Tough luck in the rebound into the hands of McCoy. Thornton inside. The alley-oop goes for not for Williams, and the Flames out with it. Here they come with a run. Demarie Franklin will back it out and restart. Franklin leads the Flames in scoring and rebounds on this ball club. A quick pass inside to KJ for the lay-in. Beautiful pass and great result for the Flames. How about that cut by Kevin Johnson in the lane? Little backdoor right through the middle of the lane for the layup for the UIC Flames. Good passing, good baskets early in the lane. 4 nothing, Flames with the lead. Hankerson trying to get a pass inside. Taken away by the Flames. Demarie Franklin to Scoball. Franklin for three. Swish! Don't really start revving up for Horizon League play. The Flames have not played really as Hunter knocks down the three from the left side. This has not played well as far as the key rebounds and the, and the defense. Because remember, Yaklich is a defensive guy first. Sure, he is. And, you know, after the game uh, against DePaul, it, it seemed like a lot was going their way offensively. And say so you lowered the shoulder there. Offensive foul on Franklin. But, you know, the one thing to kind of consider with what we saw on uh, Tuesday night against DePaul, the shots were there. And, and UIC struggled so far this season to shoot from three here at Creighton Union One Arena. And that's something that Coach Yaklich talked about after the game against DePaul. So that means the offense is working. So he also talked about how he wants the defense, defensive intensity, to really get the offense going. Get stops, get turnovers, and get into the open court. So the Huskies with the basketball, 9-3, Flames with the lead. Crump sets the screen, four to shoot. Crump inside, and the shot is short in the rebound flames. Here comes KJ into the front court. Right side, Griffin for three. Rebound corralled by NIU on the inside, and it's taken away by Scoball. Finn and Diggins with blocks there on that possession for the flames. KJ with a pass. Griffin for three. Switch. Zion Griffin from the left corner knocks down the three, and it's 12-3 Flames. Zion in the corner hits that, and, you know, he missed on the previous possession, but this is exactly what we're talking about. The shots are there. Hunter turns the corner and puts up a shot. Missed that rebound. Scoball. Flames on the run. When the Flames played Central Michigan in their last victory, there's a lot of patience offensively. Trying to see some uh, doing sideline for us here on ESPN. 
Along with Chris Black, John the Hood with you as KJ is in the foul line, knocks down the free throws. You know, to what Sam was saying there, uh, Damari Franklin and what Coach Yaklich is talking about is he wants to see him grow. He says he has a swagger, he wants to be great. He's challenging him to grow each and every game. I think it's a very good relationship here at UIC, Here's Franklin Russell. and Yaklich. Uh, Russell trying to get down, and it, it looks like the foul's on the floor. Foul will be assessed to Jamie Hale, who's checked in for the Flames. So a Hale, without even breaking a sweat already with a foul here. Non shooting affair, Flames up 10. And it's over and back, and it'll be Flames basketball. Russell dribbled that right off his knee, collecting the backcourt, turnover, Flames ball. There's Luke Yaklidge, the head coach for UIC in his second season. Flames slated to finish eighth in the Horizon League in the preseason poll. Here's Franklin to a hail. A hail draws contact, a pass to Griffin. Five to shoot. A hail for three. Swish! Ahoy, a hail! A hail for three from the left wing. Big time shot for Jamie Ahale, shooting only 24% on the season from three. It's good to see one go early. Not only the Flames need that, he needed that, right, yeah, Chris? Yeah, absolutely. You know how you shooters are. You guys just keep shooting no matter if it doesn't go in or not. You just keep going, right? You got to have a short memory. Continue to fire away. Hankerson knocks down the jumper. The 6'2 senior averaging 11.3 points a game coming in. Inside, it's Franklin. Franklin goes up and scores. After the battle, he finally gets the basket. 18 to five, UIC. Franklin and Diggins both underneath the hoop, fighting for the basketball. Franklin collects, gets the two. Flames doing work in the paint. Hankerson at the controls for NIU. And a traveling call, too many steps for Anthony Crump. And the Flames will have possession. There's Rashad Berno. Go to Paul Blue Demon. Berno was an assistant coach with Arizona State under the tutelage of Bobby Hurley. As Berno replaces Mark Montgomery after a decade with the NIU Huskies. Spent three years also with Florida with Billy Donovan. And Donovan says of Berno, he can relate to people, incredibly bright. He's very smart. He's a great worker. He's very detailed. And the players love playing for him. Franklin, a pass to Hale, a Hale for three. Yes, oh. sir! A Hale knocks down the three! 21-5 UIC. Exactly what the Flames needed. They're up big early. They're shooting well from three. Okanu at the top, a uh, whistle and a foul call on the inside. I think that's gonna be on Franklin. It's going to be on Franklin for the Flames. Thornton comes in now to replace Hunter for NIU. Flames off to a blistering start here, shooting 72% from the field. And four for six from three. And I know that the family of Amy Hale is watching on in Australia, shooting on their son. As Kevin Johnson will step away, and that there'll be a uh, Jalen Johnson in for UIC. He has the basketball now, Jalen Johnson. The redshirt junior from Hopkinsville, Kentucky. Franklin for three. No good, rebound Crump. Crump accelerates. Hankerson for three, no. Rebound Jalen Johnson. I really do like the guard play of this team for UIC as Griffin misses the three from the left corner. Goes out of bounds, it'll be NIU basketball. Really like the guard play from UIC. We can talk about, uh, you know, the, the Flames hot shooting, Jonathan, but if you're a Huskies fan watching this game, you have to be a little uh, concerned at how many open three-point shots have been taken so far. You know, the Flames are off to this great start, four of eight from three, but really a lot of these 
are not even contested. Uh, so that's obviously something that the Huskies will have to keep an eye on. And the guard play for the UIC Flames, absolutely. You like the ability to get into the lane, finish at the rim, and also kick out and find the corner three-point shot. We've seen Griffin hit a couple of those already. Also, Jamie Hale from deep to this point in the game. Thornton splits the double team, goes to the basket, misses it. Tapped out by Crump and into the hands of a Hale. Here's Johnson inside to Griffin, goes out of bounds. It'll be Husky basketball. Jalen Johnson with the look off pass. The bucket wasn't converted, but it was a nice pass by Johnson. Running the point on the fast break. Huskies with possession. Huskies representing the MAC conference. They've lost six of their last eight games. Crump was not anticipating the pass. And it goes in the backcourt over and back, and the Flames will have possession. NIU was picked to finish 12th in the MAC preseason poll coming in. Off to a tough start, 3 and 6 on the season. Obviously, a tough start to start this one, 21 5. Yeah, Huskies had, in, you know, they won their debut against St. Francis. Then they defeated Washington in the Pac-12. I remember watching that game in the Pac-12 network, actually. And it was like, and it raised my eyebrow, like, yeah. oh, that's good. But, you know, again, when you have so much turnover, you're just trying to figure out your plan. It's going to be an uphill climb. To learn more, visit HorizonLeague.com. Here's Sam Levitt. Sam? Guys, UIC shooting 62% to start this game. Thought it was interesting in his post-game comments on Tuesday night following the loss to DePaul. Flames head coach Luke Yaklich felt like his team really turns a corner in trusting their offense, working the ball to the second and third sides, which created easy points. So far here today, we're seeing that trust in the offense continue. All right, Sam, thank you. I could uh, definitely see that, and that's going to be the second foul on Jamie Hale, by the way. And Keyshawn Williams at the foul line for NIU. And like what Sam was saying is it, it's the drive penetration and the kick from the guards that we've been talking about, being able to find those open shooters from three. Keyshawn Williams hits the free throw. He's averaging 12.7 points a game, had 19 points in the last game against Chicago State. And it was a victory for the Huskies as they defeat the Cougars. 95th and King as a turnover. Notice a little pressure, uh, almost full court from the Huskies on that last possession, creating the turnover. Williams on the left wing. The double team there by the Flames, and he leaves an open shooter. And that shot's no good from the right corner by Russell. Hunter, the leading scorer for NIU with three points. Franklin leads the Flames with seven as Griffin goes inside. A foul called on the inside. That's going to be on Emmanuel. Good cut by Griffin, but also way to see it by Johnson uh, up top. Griffin underneath the basket tries to collect. He'll get two free throws. So Edward Emmanuel, the 6'6 junior from Lake Charles, Louisiana, on the foul. And Zion Griffin will step to the foul line. So Griffin, the 6'6 senior from Chicago played at Iowa State, and the free throw is good. Ten points and two rebounds against DePaul last game. Shot four of seven from the field. Shoot well early in this one. See the, uh, the, gra the new graphics we have here where you can get the Instagram and the Twitter of the players. Free throw is missed. I've been here ten years. No one's put my information <laughs> out there. I'll take the Social Security number at this point. You just want a little promotion, right? <laughs> it is a little something. I don't have anything underneath there. <laughs> Thornton. Ditches inside, and the layup is good. How about that pass from Thornton? Also, Crump in the air, laying it in. 22-9, Flames with the lead. Jalen Johnson. Around a tough screen there. Scoball. Jalen Johnson would tend to shoot. Griffin misses everything, and the rebound Huskies. Here's Thornton, burns the court. Crump working on Scoball. Now we'll reset.
Williams down the lane. Yes, sir. And a foul. So Williams scores, and now a chance for a three-point play. Williams had Johnson on his side pocket. He was able to create the contact, get in the air, collect, hit the layup, and one for the Huskies. And now make wholesale changes for Luke Yaklich as a hail and Griffin will sit down, Franklin back in, Diggins back in as well for the Flames. So Williams with four points tonight will go to the foul line. So NIU, Chris, with six returnees from last season. And it's just a rebuilding thing. I mean, three and 16 last year, two and 12 in the MAC under Montgomery at the end. And Bruno's got a chance to be able to clear, clear the slate and get something new here. You know, this Huskies team also faced a month-long pause last year because of COVID-19. So, you know, last year was super disjointed for them. Williams with the steal. Williams all the way in for the dunk. Big time dunk there for Williams. And it's 22-14. So we've seen this now for the last couple of minutes. The Huskies pick up the pressure. The baskets are not coming as easy for the Flames on the offensive end. And now the Huskies are starting to climb back into this contest. There's Franklin trying to get the pass to Scoball, and then the powerful right-hander. Follows on Zion Russell. And it's a good possession with under 10 to play in the first half. Five to shoot for Jalen Johnson. Here's Franklin for three. Swish! DeMaurier Franklin knocks down the three from the right wing. 25-14 UIC. And boy, did the Flames need that one. Shot goes for not for Caleb Thornton. Flames out with it again. Franklin over Crump misses the shot. Little heat check there, and here's Thornton. A little mismatch for Crump on Franklin, and Franklin and uh, Crump did a good job staying with the guard. Here's Thornton down the lane. Spins up a reverse layup, no. Then really all positions are interchangeable, and we've already seen that with the Flames to this point today. You're seeing everyone from in the corners, or you're out on top like Scoble will come and set a screen here. Kevin Johnson to a hail for three. Rebound tracked down by Kevin Johnson. Johnson all the way in, layup is short. Skull ball tip no. Inside the shot is good for Zion Griffin. And Griffin flexes after that one. Good offensive rebound, put back. 27-14 Flames. Inside, yes. Yeah. Against the Blue Demons, we're seeing more of that tonight against the Huskies. Manuel hits the free throw, 26-16. By the way, the Demarie Franklin shot, it was not a three, it was deemed a two. With more, here's Sam Levin. Sam? Yeah, guys, listening in on that huddle with Northern Illinois head coach Rashawn Burno, first-year head coach, during that timeout, he said, look, guys, in order to get into a flow offensively, we've got to get stopped. So, See if the Huskies pick up some of that defensive intensity during the final seven plus minutes of this first half. All right, thank you. 26 to 16, Flames with the lead. Both teams looking for win number four. Yeah, we have seen the defensive intensity from the Huskies pick up in the last four or five minutes of game action. Basket there for the Huskies as it is now 26 to 18. We were commenting early about all the open three-point shots for the Flames and they jumped out to that big lead. Here's KJ. Ball's on the floor loose, Diggins with it. And it'll be a jump ball. Noah Kahn has checked in for the NIU Huskies. He had the last basket, the 6-1 freshman from Houston. Jump ball in the possession arrow. We'll stay with UIC. So 11 on the shot clock for the Flames. Coach Berno is asking why. Possession staying with the Flames. 
see Bill Baker there in the, in the shot. See a long time veteran there. That's our guy. <laughs> long time voice of the NIU Huskies football and basketball. He's in the house. NIU football on the upswing again. And we have a whistle. It's going to be a foul call. That's going to be three free throws. That's Kevin Johnson putting up that three, and there's a foul call. Let's see a replay of that, see how close that was. Looks like that there was contact there. What do you think? Did you see contact from Khan there on that shot? I saw the replay, John. Yeah? Did you see contact? I did not see contact, but we'll take the free throws. <laughs> Kevin Johnson will have a third. I saw the replay. Mm -hmm. well, I don't think Flames fans are arguing this, but. I know not to get you a striped shirt for Christmas. That's not Flames, flames friendly. 28-18, <laughs> Flames with the lead. 630 left here in the first half. Flames shooting 47% from the field, 35% for NIU. Here's Khan, the freshman. Now, with five to shoot, Huskies need to put up something here as Khan goes in, and that's an offensive foul call. Yeah, off arm from Khan into the chest of Diggins. That's where we'll get the offensive foul. Turnover, Flames ball. Take a look at this, off arm into the chest of Michael Diggins. That's a mismatch there for Khan taking on the bigger Diggins. He's looking for some separation, he never got it. As Russell will sit down, and back in the ball game is Trenton Hankerson for the Huskies. NIU with five turnovers. So are the UIC Flames both with five, and Flames Shooting 47% from the field as Franklin puts up a three. Rebound Manuel. Huskies out with it now. Stopping, popping, and missing is Williams. Demarie Franklin digs it out. Kevin Johnson. It's for daylight. A hail for three. Dickens with the offensive rebound. New life for the Flames. Johnson for three. Loose ball foul. That's going to be on Diggins over the top. Diggins got the good offensive rebound on the first miss attempt from a hail. But there picks up the foul. Trying to fight for that second three point shot off of Johnson's miss. Shoot some free throws on the other end. You know, Michael Diggins is closing in on a thousand career yep. points. Was it, didn't he just come to the program a couple of years ago? It felt like it, right? <laughs> so Michael Diggins closing in on a thousand points in program history. Yeah. Uh, he's 42 shy coming into today's game. Uh, Goblin Bowen was the last Flames player to, to accomplish that in 2019. Uh, Diggins has played with five other players in Flames history who have gotten to 1,000 points. Tarkis Ferguson, Marcus Adi, Goblin Bowen, Dikembe Dixon, and Ty Odiasi. All getting to 1,000 points in their UIC careers. So Michael Diggins will be next up on the list. You know, I called a lot of those games of those that list that you gave. Yeah. Amazing. At one point, the Flames had three 1,000-point scores in the same lineup. I remember Godwin Bowen once upon a time said, you know, it's okay. You know, let me come off the bench. Anything to help the team. I'll never forget that. Yeah, that was cool. Yeah. That's how you know someone's the team and, and, self, and not selfish, you know, willing to give up, sacrifice for the greater good of the team. So as Chris and I – go through uh, and go down memory lane. We're waiting for the officials to come up with. Uh, they were confirming who's going to shoot the foul shots for Northern Illinois on the Diggins foul. Mm -hmm. And that's where we get Manuel at the line. So Manuel hits the free throw. We'll have another, the junior from Lake Charles, Louisiana. We mentioned the quirk in the schedule for NIU. They have played only one game at home this season. That was against Eastern Illinois back on December 1st. A number of teams have gone through that. You know, Detroit Mercy also went through that where they came in here in the middle of being on the road for eight, nine games in a row or something like that. Just it's amazing. 
The little old lady in Saskatchewan is not doing her job putting the <laughs> schedules together. She does it all by hand. <laughs> At the coffee table. Yeah, right. <laughs> it's amazing. Zion Griffin with 10 to shoot. Diggins for three. Rebound on the floor Ooh. loose, and it's going to be NIU basketball as Demarie Franklin trying to capture that ball while out of bounds. So the Huskies will have possession. Huskies hanging around. They're down eight. Yes, they are. And it's all, all because of their defense. And, you know, Sam told us what is going on in the NIU huddle and, and defensive intensity is being talked about. And we've seen it on the court, especially once they started to pick up full court pressure. Williams has the door closed by Diggins. Ten to shoot. Swing it, Hunter, Hankerson. Three, two, Hankerson to the basket. No, back tapped in the hands of a hail. Here come the Flames on the run. Kevin Johnson over the top. Tries to fumble it in to Diggins. And Diggins raises his hand and said, that's my shot. That's my two. Sometimes a pass that looks like it's a turnover turns into two points. Multiple Flames get their hands in on it, tip it in. 30 to 20 UIC with the lead. Late in the shot clock again as there will be a whistle and a foul called. You know, Diggins raised his hand. He wanted the bucket. They give it to Franklin. Give it to Franklin, all right. Yeah. Akanu trying to go inside, and the foul is assessed to Diggins. A hail will sit down. Jalen Johnson back in the ball game for the Flames. Coming the ball game here is Larson. Marcus Larson will replace Michael Diggins. Larson, the 6'11 junior from Norway. So Kingsley Akanu to the foul line for the Huskies, a 6'7 senior from Linwood, averaging six points a game, five rebounds. He'll have another. Flames next game, Chris, will be December 30th against Purdue Fort Wayne. That will be on December 30th. Tickets available at UICflames.com or come to the box office day of the game. Or you can watch us on ESPN Plus as the free throw is good. All part of a four-game home stretch for the Flames. We have the game on Tuesday against DePaul, Northern, to Northern Illinois today, Purdue Fort Wayne on the 30th, and then the first, January 1st of the new year, Cleveland State will be here at Credit Union One Arena. I have the ice pack on my head for that on New Year's Day. That goes out of bounds. That's going to stay UIC. Not just be closer to home, but also felt like Berno was a head coach who would let him play through the good and the bad, a program that just that went just 2-12 in the MAC last season, NIU hoping that Williams will be a big part of their program's turnaround. All right, Sam, thank you. As Crump misses the jumper, and the Flames out with it, up 32-22. Williams with seven points already tonight. Three for three from the free throw line, two of seven from the field. On a three to play here in the first half. Williams swing it here with 10 to shoot. Inside and the layup is good. Nicely executed by Larson on the inside with his first two. Larson does most of his damage near the basket, shooting 87%. From the field this season. Here's Hankerson turning the corner. A quick pass inside the Crump for the lay-in. So Crump with the basket. He's got four tonight. Flame shooting 46% from the field. You know how key that is, Chris, to have skilled bigs as Johnson is fouled. So good for the Flames to have Larson available, to have Scoball available, just to have some size because the key for Luke Yaklich is to be able to get rebounding and defense, and those players definitely can help. For sure, and you also see on the offensive possessions, as you see Johnson knifing through the lane, getting the contact to go to the foul line, you also see with the bigs, Scoball and Larson, the ability to take a handoff from a guard 
to pivot, to turn, create a screen, and then to pass from the top of uh, the key. And I, I think that's all important as well as far as running an offense. We've talked about positionless basketball. It kind of makes everyone interchangeable when your bigs can step out and also pass from up top. Tamaria Franklin will sit down and Jimmy Hale back in for the Flames. 35-24, Flames with the lead with two minutes left in the first half. Here's Hankerson. Rebound Larson. Flames playing their last non-conference game before we start revving it up against exclusively Horizon League teams. A hail in the left corner. Johnson, Jalen Johnson for three, missed everything. And the rebound into the hands of Griffin. Misses the shot. Rebound Hankerson. Open look for Williams. Out of bounds, it'll stay in IU basketball. With 20 to shoot. Jamie Hale took a tumble on that last defensive uh, play. He's shaking off his hand, his right hand, after hitting the deck. Luke Yaklich directing his team here to close out the first half strongly. Here come the Flames with one minute to play here in the first half. Kevin Johnson. Larson to Jalen Johnson. Tries a loop of pass inside to Larson. It goes for not. Inside is Williams. Reverse layup is good. It's a tough pass to try and make. Usually with the big, you want to put it up top towards the rim instead of trying to weave it through. Passing lanes were clogged up with Huskies. Williams with nine so far for NIU. Franklin leading the Flames with 13. Here's Larson for three. The doors must be open on that side of the building. And it'll be a turnover and IU with possession. We talked a lot at the start of the game about the hot shooting for the Flames from three. Look up at scoreboard now. The Flames are 4-15 from three here in the first half. They still have that lead, nine points, 35 to 26. But the shooting has cooled off. And IU hanging around. Top of your screen, you're looking at a Luke, Luke Yaklich with a perplexed look on his face after that three <laughs> try by Larson. <laughs> Ten seconds left. Williams. Two seconds left. Williams down the lane. Score. See Rashado, the head coach for NIU, looking for some answers. Flames looking for some momentum here after losing against DePaul in our last game. We can get back on the winning track. Huskies with possession. Hankerson now to Thornton, and he'll exercise a left handed dribble. Manuel against Scoball. Williams at the top. Hankerson tries to get a pass inside, it's taken away. A turnover, here come the Flames. This is Kevin Johnson for the Flames. Demarie Franklin leading the team in scoring and rebounding. Ten to shoot for the Flames. Franklin. With five to shoot, Franklin raises up. The jumper's good. Demarie Franklin with the basket. 37-28 Flames. Good patience on that shot from Franklin. <laughs> Waiting out the possession and then stepping right into a jump shot about 15 feet off. And we have a stoppage in play here. As Russell will come in and he will replace Caleb Thornton. Thornton looks like he's in some pain. He's trying to run it off as he heads to the Husky bench. Some cramps there possibly? It's either that or he banged knees when he was going up for the rebound. So Russell at the controls for NIU. Hey, hey. 
Hankerson inside. Akanu, the flying one-hander. Diggins with the rebound. Diggins burns the court to Scoball. KJ for three. Rebound Hankerson. It's a good shot. Coach Alkalich thought that one was going down. Inside, a whistle, and it's gonna be a foul call on the Flames. Russell was going down the baseline and drew the foul. It's gonna be on Kevin Johnson. Let's see if Johnson got his feet set here. Absolutely. The feet were set, but if you notice, upper body leaning into the player as he tries to cut, that's where they're gonna call the foul there. The feet were set, but the upper body made the contact. So let's try this after the game. I'm gonna come barreling down on you, see if your upper shoulder is going no, I have no shot. Okay. Inside, the reverse layup is good for Williams. I mean, your body, upper body's gonna move if I come barreling down on you, right? <laughs> Over the top to Scoball for the lay-in. Beautiful pass by Kevin Johnson, finds Scoball underneath. Scoball has four. Flames with a nine-point advantage. Demario Franklin leading the Flames in scoring with 15. What do you think of the Huskies' offense so far, the way they run things? Everything is you now 10 or less in the shot clock. Yeah, they take a lot of time. Akanu, See right there. Akanu with the basket. Akanu with a good layup there inside the paint. They take their time, and they, they wait out the possession, hoping that the defense makes a mistake. Yaklich said at halftime, guard the ball, and that's something that it takes a long time to guard for these full possessions defensively. Diggins loses the handle. Here's Williams. All the way in, and it goes in. So Williams with 15. And it's a seven-point ball game. Make it five-point ball game as the Flames are 39 and 34. Not the start the Flames are looking for here in the second half. Franklin. Pass inside to Diggins for the high elevation. 41-34 Flames. Pump fake by Franklin, caught the defense off guard. Wide open, Michael Diggins underneath the basket. Williams against Franklin. Ten to shoot as Williams turns the corner. Inside layup is good for Akanu. See, the moment Diggins stepped out to try and stop the penetration, Akanu wide open underneath the, the hoop for two. Akanu with six now for the Huskies. 41-36 UIC. Franklin will stop and pop. Missed it. Rebound. Griffin, tough rebound there. Flames with new life. Ten to shoot. KJ, skull ball for three. Rebound, Griffin again. Another opportunity here for the Flames. Kevin Johnson accelerates. Missed that shot and a rebound, Williams. Williams ahead to Russell. Russell all the way in, layup is off. Rebound, Griffin. Celebrates around diversity and inclusion. Learn more at horizonleague.com slash 1HL or by searching hashtag 1HL on social media. Here's Sam Levitt. Sam? In that last timeout, UIC head coach Luke Yaklich said, we're going too slow offensively, so look for the Flames to pick up the pace on this end. All right, Sam, thank you. With Chris Fleck, Jonathan Hood with you here at courtside for the Flames. Looking for win number four as Franklin misses the three from the left corner. Rebound Crump. Flames shooting 37% from the field here in the second half. This is the Huskies' first time playing at UIC since 2015. Under 10 to shoot. Williams against Diggins. Five to shoot. Williams looking for daylight. Has a shot blocked out front by Diggins. I head to Warren, who's checked in. Franklin finds KJ for three. Switch! Kevin Johnson for three in the right corner.
43-36 UIC. Here's Williams over Diggins. Akanu with the tough rebound, and it'll be a whistle. The foul called underneath, that's gonna be on Franklin. Wow. All right, so Franklin's getting the, pose the position down low. Take a look at this, and this shot, look, underneath, backing himself into Akanu, but they called the foul on Franklin. Usually you see Arn grabbing a, a shoulder or the wrist trying to get that rebound, but instead just backing into the offensive player and picks up the foul. So Franklin with three fouls. Three for Russell for NIU. And as a turnover and then there's a trip. As Kevin Johnson went down, foul's gonna be on Russell. Nice steal by KJ out in the open floor, gets tripped up. Flames will keep possession. So Warren will inbound. Flames shooting 42% from the field, 37% for NIU. Diggins, foul on extended. KJ to Zion Griffin. Good defense here by the Huskies. Kevin Johnson with five to shoot inside, not a kick it. Here is Diggins, a jackknife three, and he knocks it down. They'll call the two that say he was in the line. 45 to 36 Flames. A little bit crazy of a possession for the Flames, but Diggins gets at the end. Akanu finds the side door. 45-38 UIC. Good answer by the Huskies. After that big three from Diggins. Kanu's got six. Four fouls on Russell, by the way, for the Huskies. KJ for three. Rebound. Crump had a, had a chance for it, but then it was knocked out of bounds by Zion Griffin. So the Huskies will have possession. You and I spent a lot of time with that Convocation Center at NIU. We always thought, well, like, if you just turn a couple of lights on, it's always dark in there. You know? <laughs> they also have the, the court is uh, kind of like a darker gray, too, yes. <laughs> which adds to the, uh, to the look, the aesthetic. Thornton tries to turn the corner and an offensive foul call. It'll be Flames basketball. Foul's gonna be on a Kanu on an eagle, a legal screen there as Diggins had that last second three. Yeah, a little pump fake and then he hits a three and then you see a Kanu on the other end getting the, the pull and the best slams it for two. You and I have had plenty of fun times in DeKalb. It's been a Thanksgiving tournament over in NIU, recall that? We have, uh, what was that, like five years ago? Mm -hmm. Four or five years ago yeah. now? Yeah, it's always fun to call a game out there. After Fatty's Pub. A couple other places in that area. Shout out to Fatties. Shout out, you, you mentioned the football program for NIU earlier. Oh, yeah. Thomas Hammock and the, uh, the Huskies. What a turnaround their football season this year was to last year. 0-6 last year. Get to a bowl game this year. Tough loss. You see the way that game ended? Yeah, that, that was Against tough. Coastal Carolina? Yeah. Williams. And we have a whistle. Fouls on the floor. It's going to be on Warren. And Williams comes flying into the scores table as well. So it's going to be NIU basketball. And a 45-38 advantage for the Flames. You'd like to see the Flames string together a good four-minute period of really solid defense. See if you can stretch this lead out a little bit more from seven. Good shots on the offensive end. Right now, it's a seven-point game. Franklin leads the Flames in scoring with 15 points. Johnson has eight. But they really need to play well on defense to kind of limit what the Huskies are trying to do to come back in this one. Under 10 to shoot. And there a traveling go. call. Too many steps right there. As Thornton was just trying to find someone to pass to or to be able to do something with it. But he ends up traveling with the basketball, and it'll be a turnover. See Zion Griffin happy walking back on the offensive end. 
cheering on his teammates, but that's what we just asked for, a good defensive possession. Now let's see if the Flames can counter on the offensive end. Huskies picking it up full court. It's going to be a trap. Warren, Hankerson's all over his back, and they were able to dig it out. Diggins trying to get a pass to Kevin Johnson out of bounds. Huskies basketball. That's a win for the Huskies there. A couple things you don't want to do when you're being trapped full court. You don't want to come over the, the midcourt line and immediately pick up your dribble. You want to pass the basketball to the open man. And you saw Diggins was trying to do that, and that's just where you get the turnover. Flames a little skittish there. Whistle, foul call, it's gonna be off the ball. Foul's gonna be on Zion Griffin. So Zion Griffin on the foul, this will be his first foul. Franklin and Dickens, both with three fouls, the only foul trouble for the Flames so far. Here is Williams inside. Yes, sir, the foul. Beautiful spin move for Williams. Gets to the lane and the foul for the Huskies. Opportunity to only be down four here. So Franklin is in. Warren will sit down. And Williams will step to the foul line. Williams with 17 points tonight. And two steals. Free throw is missed. Ball on the floor loose. Picked out of there by Demarie Franklin. Here comes Franklin for the Flames. Over the top to Diggins for the high elevation. Big time slam for Diggins. 47-40 Flames. Give credit to Franklin on the defensive end. Collects the rebound off the missed free throw. Takes it full court. Finds Diggins for the slam dunk. Fantastic possession for the Flames. Here's Crump for three, knocks it down. Crump's got seven for the Huskies. 47-43 Flames. Here's Franklin, he's double teamed. Johnson for three, yes sir. Kevin Johnson's got 11. 50 to 43 UIC. Another assist goes to Franklin. Sick pass to find Johnson up top. Williams against the hail. Step back. Jumper, yes, sir. That was smooth. He's starting to heat up now. Chris, you see him. Got 19 now. Keyshawn Williams out of Chicago Heights, the sophomore. Franklin draws contact with a foul. On the Huskies. It's going to be on the ground. Let's take a look at this. Alley oop. Michael Diggins soaring through the air. Mario Franklin has had some good passing here in the last couple of possessions for the Flames. Two assists on the last two possessions, open buckets for UIC. Larson in the ball game now for UIC to replace Diggins. The foul is on Okanu, by the way. That's his second. Flames with possession, a hail. With under 10 to play. Flames up five. Huskies just won't go away here in this contest. Kevin Johnson for three. Tipped and volleyed in the hands of Hankerson. Anderson, Hankerson from Novi, Michigan. Looked like he moved his pivot foot. Spinning and turning, and now inside, the shot hits nothing for Hankerson, goes out of bounds. And the officials will confer. I believe that's going to stay in IU basketball. Chris Osteen in the ball game for NIU, the 6'9 senior from Crowley, Louisiana, number five. Ten to shoot. Hunter with five to shoot. Crump knocks it down for three. 
Crump's got 10. Crump's only shooting 22% from three on the season, but buries that one playing well. He also played well on Monday against Chicago State. He had 12.6 rebounds for the Huskies. And look out now, the Flames are just up two. Franklin down the lane, layup is good for Demarie Franklin. BB on social media. With Chris Bleck, Jonathan Hood with you from Credit Union One Arena in Chicago. Glad that you're with us here for the Flames in their last non-conference game of the regular season against the NIU Huskies. Hunter has a shot blocked, and here comes Demarie Franklin. Ahead to KJ, Kevin Johnson, as the Flames will set up the play. Here is Johnson. And a whistle. That's going to be an offensive foul. Three Huskies converge on Franklin. Try to pass it out of there. Kind of got trapped. The ball rolls out of bounds. Let's take a look at the passing from the Huskies. Good block from Franklin on the defensive end. Huskies continue to hang around here in this contest with under eight to play. 52-48. Williams with 19 for the Huskies, 10 for Crump. A flying one-hander, and the shot is good for the aforementioned Williams. 21 points now for Williams. He's shooting 9 of 19 from the field. He also has three assists and two steals in 28 minutes. Huskies now shooting 43% from the field. Three for nine from three. A hail for three. Rebound Zion Griffin. He's been terrific on the offensive boards. That's what Luke Gockledge wants, just the second and third chance opportunities. Franklin. And a rebound. Goal by the Huskies. Thought that was going to fall for Franklin. That was a nice little shot in the lane. Hunter with that rebound, and now the Huskies will set it up here. Crump trying to get the entry pass, and it was deflected right back to him with 10 to shoot. Here's Williams. Zion with the active hands. Williams against Zion. Puts up a shot and scores. He oh, threw contact man. and still got it in. Great defense from Griffin. But Williams with the better offense makes the bucket. And we're tied at 52 here at Credit Union 1. That's 23 points now for Williams and the Huskies. Inside is Larson, the layup is good. Expanding, powerful connection. 6-13 left here for your ball game. Here's Sam Levis. Sam? Guys, during that last timeout, defense, the big theme in both those huddles, UIC head coach Luke Yachlich saying to his team, we've got to stop and score. Meanwhile, for NIU, Rayshon Verno, first-year head coach, said let's sit down and guard. So defense, a big key here down the stretch. All right, Sam, thank you. Tied at 54 again here with under six to play. Good call from Sam there as Williams once again gets into the lane against the Flames, and that defense needs to step up. Williams hits another shot. He has 25 for the night. 0 for 3 from three-point range, but he's got 25 to lead the Huskies. He's doing all his work in the lane. Under 10 to shoot. Franklin. Raises up for three. Rebound, Crump. And Franklin may have twisted his ankle. He's on the You're trying to put a shot up. Ooh. What's that like when you come down on your ankle like that? Well, you know, you're, you're really focusing on the shot. You're not worried about what's underneath you, and that's where you come down and you twist your ankle. It is super painful. Hopefully that's all that it is. Franklin today, 17 points, 8 of 16 from the field for the Flames. Over and back. It'll be Flames basketball with five minutes to play. Tied at 54. Coach Yaklich very happy with the defensive effort on that possession. Yeah, it's tough. When, when a defender comes out and their foot plants and you're still up in the air and you come down, it's very hard to avoid that type of injury. So Kevin Johnson at the controls for the Flames. Inside Larson, no, and a whistle. Foul called on the Huskies. Nice positioning there by Larson. Also good pass. He'll get to the foul line, going up strong. Take a look at this. Just couldn't convert to Larson. 
A foul will be assessed to Crump. So Larson from Norway. Hits the free throw. Larson's now three for three on the season from the foul line. So Larson comes in there and gives the Flames some size, the ability to score from the foul line down. You know, he was taking on the ball game earlier for putting up a three. That's really not what he's in there for. I say he can't hit the three. I've seen him in practice do that. But in that scenario, I don't think that that's what Coach Yaklitz is looking for. But that's the kind of kind of player that Yaklitz likes, just the ability to do a little, little things. This is a turnover. Johnson. Here is Warren for three. Rebound, Larson. New life for the Flames is KJ. Has the basketball for the Flames. 56-54 UIC. KJ splits a double team. Diggins will swing it. Griffin down the left baseline, spins and turns. Two to shoot. KJ for three. And that's a shot clock violation. See, this is where the Flames offensively, with Franklin out of the ball game right this second, it seemed as if no one on that possession wanted to shoot the shot. A lot of pump fakes, a lot of passing to the next guy, a lot of waiting. And, and that's where we're going to have to see Kevin Johnson kind of take over this offense. And also Zion Griffin, you know, go and get your shot in these possessions. Timeout, Bruno. Yeah, guys, Demaria Franklin uh, suffering what looked like an ankle injury. They're working on him uh, on that bench, but it appears he will not return for today's game. All right, Sam, thank you. 17 points for Franklin in today's game. Eight of 16 from the field. He had seven rebounds and five assists. Flames out with it. Up two. Larson up top. A hail now to Diggins with 10 to shoot. Defense is stiffened for the Huskies as KJ knocks down the three from the left wing. Kevin Johnson with the basket, 59-54 UIC. KJ now with 14 on the day, and this is what we're talking about. He's going to have to take over the scoring down late against NIU. Crump. Pass inside. Ten to shoot for the Huskies as Crump goes up over Larson and a whistle, a foul call on the Flames. That's going to be on Larson. Larson playing good defense there. He just gets caught up as Crump continues to kind of wheel. There's KJ with a step to the side three-point shot. Looks to the bench. And here, look at Crump. Kind of like an off arm around the back of Larson doesn't get called for it. Larson picks up the foul. So Crump with 10 points tonight. Anthony Crump, the senior from Inkster, Michigan, went to Middle Tennessee State. And that one dances around and falls. So the, the saving grace for UIC, Chris, is that with Franklin out, a Franklin key rebounder, key scorer, the Flames do have other scorers at that guard spot to be able to score the basketball. Absolutely, and we've seen it from Johnson tonight. Also, you know, Zion Griffin was hot early in the game. Michael Diggins has six points. Hale with six points tonight. But really, KJ is going to have to kind of run the show in the final three minutes of today's action. So here's Kevin Johnson in the front court. Under three to play here. The Flames clean to a four-point lead. There's a turnover. Here's Williams. Pass inside to Crump for the lay-in. Crump's got 14. I like Crump coming in from the baseline corner, cutting to the basket when his point guard was in the lane. Kevin Johnson is derailed. A whistle and a foul call. That's going to be on Thornton. That's his first foul. The foul situation looks like this. Michael Dickens has four. Russell with four for NIU. Three fouls for Franklin, who's out of the ball game for the Flames. Non-shooting affair. Flames up one. Larson tries to force a pass into Diggins. That's a turnover. Inside is Russell. That's an offensive okay. foul. Russell runs right over Kevin Johnson. 
Good job by KJ. Plants his feet in the open court. Take a look at this. Stand tall. Take attack in the chest. Pick up the foul. Boulder Square. Everybody taking the contact, right, Chris? Yep. And Russell now out of the game. That's his fifth on the day. So Hankerson in for NIU. Diggins, double team. Out of KJ. Trying to get a pass into a hail. Out of bounds. And it'll be Husky basketball. Flames with 13 turnovers tonight. In a crucial situation, under two to play and up one. The patience that UIC had against Central Michigan needs to be exercised here. They want to win this game against NIU. As that's an off the, whistle, off the ball whistle. That's going to be a foul. It's going to be on Diggins. Michael Diggins just takes a look at the officials. He fouls out. That's five. So Let's see what Yaklich does. So guards are placing him. Diggins will finish here with six points and three rebounds. As the crowd not happy with that call. So Warren will come in the ball game. So if you notice, the Flames now are small. Yep. Larson really the only big out there. You have to concentrate on rebounding on the defensive end. Don't give more possessions to the Huskies. Missed shots. Crump misses the free throw. Rebound Larson. See what the Flames do. Up one, 146 left with Chris Fleck, Jonathan Hood with you at courtside. For the UIC Flames in their last regular season non-conference affair against NIU. Both teams looking for their fourth victory of the season. Johnson tries to loop a pass inside to Larson, knocked out by Williams. Six seconds on the clock with 125 left in the big one. Well, you nailed it, Chris. You talked about it in the first half, how the threes were falling, and then it, they weren't. And let NIU really back in the ball game as Griffin misses the three. Out of bounds, and the Huskies will have possession. Flames are now 6 of 28 tonight from three. It's been a while since NIU pulled the trigger for three, too. They're three yep. for nine. Yep. But they just but, don't, they don't take as many attempts. But as you talked about, what NIU does is they penetrate and they go inside. It's inside out for Verno. And they also milk the possessions, right? Yeah. Like they play the clock, they wait for you to make a mistake on defense. Crump finds a seam, misses it. Offensive rebound, and he has the ball back now. Crump with seven to shoot. Crump, fade away. The jumper's good. Wow, big shot by Crump. Crump with 16. 59, 60 59, Northern Illinois with their first lead tonight. 45 seconds left for the ball game. NIU up one. KJ for three. NIU basketball. And Crump has really been able to heat up for NIU as well with 16. He put the NIU Huskies ahead. 30 seconds left for the ball game. Here's Williams. Playing keep away here. Watch the difference in the shot in the game clock here. Hankerson. They swing it. Five seconds left and finally a foul. And a foul will be assessed to Warren. Coach Yaklich kind of looking at Warren saying we were almost there. There's about a five second differential between the shot clock and the game clock and the Flames had the shot clock down to seven seconds. About oh, six, seven seconds. They're going to have a possession if they play defense right. So Williams will go to the foul line with the Flames down one. Free throw dances off. And they're going to put uh, Larson on the foul line. Yeah. So Thornton picks up the foul. So Larson will step to the foul line. 
60-59, NIU with the lead. 10 and 8, 10 seconds left. Let's watch this again. Larson okay. gets in there, yeah. Yeah, no question. I thought that there were, the officials were calling a timeout there, but it was Williams on the, uh, I'm sorry, Thornton on the foul there. That's his second. So Larson to the foul line. Free throws, good, 11 there. Tied at 60. Larson off the bench today in 13 minutes, six points. It's been perfect at the foul line to this point. Averaging 5.3 points a game. Larson trying to put the Flames ahead with his free throw. Knocks it down. If UIC can hold on here. Here's Crump into the front court. Crump against Griffin all the way in. The layup is short. Ball on the floor loose. Griffin held inbound. Loops a pass into the hands of Williams. Williams lets it.